Morning, guys. Um, you know, really, just been what a whirlwind since uh, the game Saturday. You know, and I think obviously we were all together on the the conference call last week, just kind of talking about what we were going through and what all had happened, and just the adversity. And um, I think the big thing for us was, you know, the guys that we put on the plane to go, um, just the mindset they had. And you know, we just said, didn't matter what happened, you know, we were going to be positive. We were going to be uh, we. We were going to fight. We were going to be together. And and I think it's easy to say some of those things. And, and then when you're really faced with true adversity, what do you do? And I think that's what I'm probably so proud of this group for. You know, and I, and I think really just this whole year that what the things they fought through. But um, good. Um, you know, so just could not be more proud of them. And uh, really, and I, you know, I said this this morning. Uh, just a pure joy that I got to see out of those guys and the and the coaches at the end of the, you know when that game was over and um, you know we had one goal and that was to win the West and and now we got our our, our ultimate goal which is to win the conference championship against a, a really really good Marshall team and you know obviously coming off a, a loss a tough loss like they had um, we know that feeling and um, you know they got beat got beat at home by Rice and so they gonna have something to prove. They've been great all year. Um, they're talented all around. Uh, they're super well coached. Um, you know, they're they're tough. And so we just we know we know it's going to be a, we're playing a great team at their place, which is you know one of the hard things to do is is you know to go on the road and and win a championship. You know, we were able to do that two years ago at at Middle. We have a bad taste in our mouth from last year's championship game against FAU. So. Uh, even though that was last year's team, that's something that, that has stuck with us all year. So uh, just really looking forward to the challenge on a short week. Questions? Coach, your team has, is in its third straight uh, conference championship game. You beat the team that beat the team, beating Rice, and, of course, now you play Marshall. How do you keep your team from being overconfident since you beat Rice without a number of your own players? You know, I think the things that's happened to us this year, you know, um, you know, we've had some losses. We've had, you know, we had a heartbreaking loss at La Tech. We thought we should have won. And then, uh, you know, the Lafayette game where we led. I, I think, you know, it's, as I say in coaching, and I say in this in our business, it's, I, don't, I can't see anybody ever getting cocky or overconfident. I, I really can't. And um, I promise you, we're not. Uh, and we know how games go sometimes, you know. So I think for us, it tells us that, um, and the talk I had last night with the team is they've got everything to prove now, you know. Um, Everybody, you know, after, you know, they were bragged on and then everybody's talking about you after you lose. So they're going to have a chip on their shoulder. We should have one on our shoulder <clears throat> with, with plenty to prove. And, and, you know, and, of course, as we get a big number of guys back today, um, let's see how we respond, you know, and hopefully we can keep that same mindset of, of kind of us against the world. What was y'all's uh, testing numbers like coming out of the game on Saturday? And uh, who all can we expect to get back this week? Yeah, so we'll, we, you know, we lost a few guys at the end of the week. Um, you know, Kobe Ragland, Sanders, uh, Ryan Davis. Uh, but we should be getting, and I think there was one or two more, but we should be getting almost the entire group back. So everybody else that was out, we should be getting them back. Um, today, we'll get a number of guys, but also get a, a small group back on Wednesday. So um, hopefully now our test – are good, you know, so we, you know, we tested again yesterday. So, you know, now here we go again, but um, our numbers were, you know, we were good, but we did have a few at the very end of the week that, you know, that will be out for this week. Coach, we talk about distractions and uh, obviously, I mean, we've been part of the, the this, this train with you guys on and off, not knowing if you're playing or not. Another distraction and maybe something that, you know, you, positive for you in a way, a compliment to you is, the name, your name being thrown around for Auburn. Is that an honor to you just to be recognized in a group of, I mean, we all know that's one of the biggest jobs in not only the state, but the country. And what do you kind of tell your guys to try to not make that a distraction? Well, yeah, first, it's a huge honor, you know, of just to be considered in that group um, of, of guys. I mean, and I've said this last year when, when a, you know, a number of those SEC jobs called and we're looking, you know, what, you know, I am just a really big on – and this is what brought me to UAB, uh, and I would say the same thing about Jack State. Somebody that really, really, really wants me. And and that's the things that get me. Uh, I really would not pursue any other job. This is my home. This is what we've built. 
And uh, so really, whether I'm, you know, just really not talking about that situation per se, but, but I think the biggest answer to the question is, if I'm not doing the right job, then they're not going to ever say her name. So, you know, to me, that's in my business, you've got to be doing what you're supposed to be doing to even be thought of and considered. So if they're not talking about us, they're not ever talking, you know, considering us or putting our name in there, that means we're not doing our job. So hopefully that's indicative of the staff and the players and really just a compliment to all of them. Um, so always be good to th be thought of. Um, okay, we got some, okay, I think we're good. You know, it's always good to be thought of and, and you know, Auburn, what a great school and, and that's, and what a great, you know, great things they've done through the years. So it, it is a big honor. I know that's a long answer to a short question, but it just, you know, it's an honor to be, to be put up there always. Just going off that, what are your thoughts on uh, Coach Malzahn and what he was able to accomplish uh, while, during his time during, in the state? Yeah, I mean, you know, Gus was a former high school coach, so kind of kindred spirits there. And, you know, man, look at it, look at what he did. You know, he, he championship game, got him there and, and, you know, win, big win, signature win. So, um, you know, first, I don't ever judge any coach really anywhere on what they do other than to say, you know, he did a good job and best wishes to him. Uh, Coach, you look at Marshall. Look at Marshall defensively. You know they're solid up front, solid all around. Brad Lambert, former uh, Charlotte head coach, I believe, is the D coordinator there now. What what really impresses you the most about that bunch? Well, you know, and I have guys tell me they watch us, and I don't mean that arrogantly, but you know, I have a lot of guys say, you know, we watch y'all all the time. We watch what you do. You know, and I would say Marshall is one of those teams that I like to watch. You know, because they get lined up. They play really, really hard. They're physical. They're fundamental. You know, they've got really great – they've got great athletes over there. But they play – you know, they play defense the way it should be played. And I think uh, statistically they're leading the country in scoring defense. So, if that tells you something. So, they do a really, really good job defensively. And obviously, you know, what – you know, what Doc has done there. But also, you know, Coach Lambert's a, 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 an excellent coach and an excellent defensive coach. Uh, Coach, offensively for Marshall, their quarterback, Grant Wells, a redshirt freshman, he'll be starting just his eighth career game, but he, he kind of looks already like a seasoned veteran. When you turn on the tape and see him, who does who, I guess, who does he remind you of, and, and how do you prepare for a guy who hasn't yet been in that moment when this program has been in that moment, you know, a, a ton of times? Sure. Yeah, you know, I think for him it's – you know, I know just from everything I've read, he was a big-time prospect that probably could have gone – you know, about anywhere he wanted to go and chose to stay at Marshall, which is, which is what you want. You know, I mean, that's where they see themselves. That's who we see ourselves as, as a, as a destination. Um, but he has got all the things you look for in a quarterback. You know, he, he's got the big, big arm. Uh, he's athletic. You know, he can run, he can stay active, you know, and I mean, probably minus what happened to him last week. Um, you know, he's had a, an unbelievable year. So, um, you know, he's, he's done a really good job, and, and I'm sure he's got, you know, he'll be, like all of them, they'll have something. He'll want to prove himself as well. How do you go about trying to confuse a player who, like I kind of said, has that limited experience defensively? Do you, you throw more blitzes? Is it a, a coverage mix-up? How do you how do you kind of scheme for that when you, you've seen the tape already? Yeah, I think that's something that I can't, we constantly try and do defensively is is change our looks up and, um, you know, that's the whole point, you know, old, old adage is, you know, if you stay in the same foxhole long enough, you get blown up. So, you know, we want to be simple enough that our guys get lined up with today's tempo and multiple formations, yet give you enough different looks that they can't just lock in because quarterbacks are so well schooled now coming out of high school. You know, they're just, they're just, they, they're throwing the ball so much more that you've got to give them different looks. How about the biggest challenge or maybe area of concern? when you look at Marshall and, and look at them and see what they do for you guys? Well, they're just, they're just talented all around. I know that sounds like just a coach statement, but they really are. I mean, if you look at their O-line, if you look at their skill guys outside, the running back who was the, you know, I guess the, you know, the conference player. I don't know if he was conference player of the year last year. Um, you know, so offensively, they just got talent all around. We just talked about the receiver. I mean, the quarterback, excuse me. Then go to defense. You know, so you got a top defense in the country. So, you know, they've got the people, they're well coached, um, you know, so you can, you can see why they, they were undefeated prior to last week. Bill, I'm not going to ask you to campaign for uh, coach of the year because that's not your style, but can you speak, can you speak to the job that you and your staff did to kind of hold this thing together and get to the championship game? 
Yeah, I, I would say I was I was thinking about it last night, really just where we were last Sunday um, and really in all those weeks prior to, you know, it, it, you know, I kind of say about when our program shut down, it's not a position I would want to be in again. And uh, thank God it's behind us to, you know, but, um, you know, I just, I'm just proud of coaches and players for, for hanging in, for believing, um, for being willing to go fight for a chance. I mean, and that's what that was. It was, you know, you got to be willing to put your pride out there, your record out there, all these things out there when everything's telling you you're not going to be successful and, and still believe and still fight. And so that's what I'm proud of. So appreciate it. Any other questions for Coach? Uh, one more, Coach. For you, it seems like since you've been here, the expectation is to not just, you know, win the division, but win the, you know, win the conference, get there. Is this just your mindset coming into the season? Like, okay, UAB, we're going to be there when the year's over, and that's just – yeah, it really is. I, you know, I, I think I started that years ago with just, you know, and I, we, we talk about it. When you talk about championships, you know, you can set yourself up for, for falling short. Um, but I, I just don't believe you can achieve those things if that's not your mindset. So that's kind of been our mindset since really the day we walked in. And, and I like the fact that that's what we expect. I mean, I think you can sometimes, um, as a fan or somebody out there can maybe have some unrealistic expectations. And, and, and the big thing I just don't want is people to not be appreciative because the amount of work that goes into doing what we do, you know, and I think that's the only thing I can ask for is being appreciative of, of, of what we've done. But at the same time, yeah, that's, that's how we've tried to build it. You know, I think I'm a, you know, I'm a history guy. So three in a row that's never been done. That's a big deal. Um, but now this is, you know, this is the ultimate goal is to get this championship against a great team. I mean, you talk about adversity, you know, you got to go on the road. They're great. They're coming off a loss. They, they, they had an extra few days to prepare for us. So once again, backs are against the wall. Let's see what we do. All right, coach. All right, guys. Thanks, coach. Have a good day. Thank y'all. Good luck. Thank you. We'll now move uh, quarterback Tyler Johnston up to the computer. Tyler threw for 217 yards and two touchdowns in his first start since Miami. He was also the starting quarterback in 2018 to lead UAB to the championship against Middle Tennessee. So with that, uh, we'll open up to questions for Tyler. How y'all doing? Doing, what? doing well. All right, so uh, Tyler, y'all didn't play for more than a month. Uh, Besides uh, just not playing the games, what what, what did y'all do, uh, you know, during that downtime? Uh, obviously, y'all kept the same routine that you usually do during the week, but on those weekends, what were y'all doing? Uh, during the week or during the weekends? Weekends. Weekends? Um, of course, we got to see our family a little bit. Um, try to stay safe with the whole corona and everything, having our mask on. But um, just hanging out, getting closer together. Um there's not much you can do because you want to take care of yourself with the whole corona and everything, trying to play a game. And Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving came around and you want to go see your family. And some, some people did get corona and everything, but luckily get them back this week. Tyler, I asked, I asked Coach Clark a, a similar question uh, about the Marshall defense. You know, those guys are top 10 nationally and can, present some challenges for you, you know, you as a quarterback, what do you see just from watching film so far? I know it's Monday, but what have you seen from that, that bunch that uh, could be the biggest challenge for you? Um, last night watching them, they had, I mean, their defense is good. Um, they have some great players. Um, the front line, the linebackers, safeties, everything really. Um, but, I mean, it's just another team. That's how we got to think of them. Um, we just got to keep working. And this week's going to be a big week. I mean, it's championship week. And you don't go in a championship without knowing there's going to be a good team. I mean, but it is what it is. And, I mean, we're going to have – we're going to be ready. Uh, Tyler, you mentioned you kind of had a chance to see some of them on film. But is there something that jumps out to you? Because this is like the number two or number three scoring de – you know, scoring defense in terms of not letting points allowed in college football. And obviously points lead a premium in this game. Is there something they do that maybe you haven't seen when going up against another opponent? Um, just the speed of the, like, as in getting to the ball. I mean, a great team that works together as a team. Um, I would say their linebackers are really good. Um, defense line, definitely. And, but I just, I feel like they all work together. 
you got defense that work together. That's what, I mean, mostly it happens, though. Bill Clark, as a coach, obviously, we all know the history, bringing the program back. What, what, what kind of job has he done this year? You guys miss games, and he's kind of kept the eye on the prize the whole time. What does it say about him, obviously, as a coach this season? Coach Clark's a great coach, great man. Um, it's just he keeps us positive. I mean, going through this whole year, it's been kind of um, confusing in a way because, I mean, just you're going each week and then somebody cancels a game. But he always keeps our mindset ready to go, um, keeping us week to week. I mean, we're still practicing, and but we're still positive. Attitude's good, and he's he just always keeps us up. Tyler, for you being in this position and having this program in the position for the third straight time now, uh, you know, I was asking Coach about his expectation of being, you know, not just division champs, but now being conference champs. Um, what's it like to just be a part of a winning program? Um, I mean, I would say I've been I've been with a winning program a lot of my life. I just the attitude of this this team is just like no other. Um, and that's why I mean, just coming here and then seeing these guys the way they work and everything else, it's just like back home. And I love it. I mean, you can't you don't want to you don't want to go with a team that doesn't have the same mindset as you. So this team, I mean, UAB, I mean, everybody has a winning, winning attitude. We don't go in the, in the season just to win five games or something. We're trying to win them all. And so, I mean, it's, I'm, just, I'm just happy to be here with the guys that are on this team. You guys definitely seem confident, but is there a sense of pressure at all? Um, I mean, just coming from these past years, we're getting better and better in a way. Um, Teams are looking at us, the ones that we have beaten in the past. Um, there's a pressure sometimes because, I mean, we're kind of that target in a way. And that's what you want to be, though. You want to have more pressure in a way because, I mean, you want this team to go harder than each week so that we can get better ourselves, too. And given the adversity this, this program has faced and – knowing what 2020 is like, what would a victory on Friday night mean for everyone for that, for that city over there? I mean, it would mean the world for us. Um, I mean, just to bring it back home to the city. <clears throat> and some of these guys never won a ring before. And so, I mean, they're going to come in, lights out. And so we're all going to work together. We all want to see the same thing. Hey, uh, should... Go ahead, Joe. How insane has this season been? Just, just as a player. They said again. How insane has the season been? How insane has the season been as a player? Just week to week. <laughs> um, well, my season's been a little confusing than others, but I've been being hurt this season <clears throat> with the first game, second game, with my shoulder. I mean, it's just been a long season away because I just I've been ready to play this whole summer and everything, working my ass off and everything. But it's just been something, I mean, doing rehab, 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 and then getting ready. Uh, one practice before La Tech and going in that game, but then getting ready for the next week. And then they say, cancel. And then the next week, cancel. Next week, cancel. So it's just been kind of, it's just been, there and now, you're just like, geez. But with our team, our attitude, I just love how these guys are. They never put their heads down. Um, and that's why this team is how we are. What did Bill Clark say uh, in pregame speech before the game this past week? What was his message to the team? I mean, you guys had a, hand, like, a handful of players. I mean, hey. We're going to play who's on the field with us. Um, whoever's on the field, we trust them. So um, he really just told us, I mean, hey, we got one more game, and then we're going to play in that championship game. Um, and, and that's what, I mean, we're going to go be West champs again. It's a 3 P kind of thing. Um, but we, we go in each game knowing we're ready to go play, ready to go win. I mean, uh this being the third straight title game y'all guys have been in a third straight one that's been on the road as well. What kind of a 
you know, the experience of going on these first two, uh, these first two uh, championship games, uh, how much will that uh, help you guys go into this one? <clears throat> well, you know, the bad taste in our mouth from last year. Um, it's just like, I mean, one of those kind of games, championship game. Um, you want to go in having the best week, um, but just getting ready for this game. Um, I mean, there's, I mean, there's not much to say about it because it's a championship game. You want to go play your hardest and you're trying to go win a ring. Anything else for Tyler? Yeah, I've got one more if you don't mind. Uh, Tyler, do you think people underestimate or undervalue your arm strength? And if so, what did you show them in the third quarter Saturday? Um, I mean, I, I definitely do get a little bit of that. Um, but it doesn't bother me. I mean, I play how I am. Um, it's worked out for me. But, um, I, I mean, showing them I can throw the ball in a way that some people don't think my arm is. But I don't know. I mean, I – my wide receivers trust me, and it's just the timing in a way. Um, but there's nothing really I can say about it. All right. On that note, I thank appreciate you. it. Thanks, Tyler. Thanks, man. And uh, last but not least, we'll move Grayson Cash up to the computer. Um, Grayson has also had a, an up and down season with injuries and stuff like that, but he made the pick. Uh, on the final play of the game against Rice to secure the victory. So with that, we'll move Grayson Cash up to the computer. Hey, everybody. How you doing, Grayson? Uh, obviously, just a stranger overall. You had to deal with a little, little bit of injuries yourself. But uh, this past month, uh, just or more than a month, really, uh, not being able to play games, uh, you know, what took up y'all's time? I mean, obviously, during the week, you're still classing it up, uh, do, going through practices, workouts. But, uh, you know, your weekends are free at this point. So uh, what's the guys on the team doing on the weekends, you know, when there's nothing going on? Well, yeah, during the week, we are just – you know, starting off going through practice and then we would get told, you know, games canceled. So it's just weekends, we're really just kind of staying safe. We were hanging out kind of just us as the guys, you know, guys we knew were all still safe, you know, not testing positive and stuff. Just really trying to stay safe and out of all this COVID stuff, you know, and just trying to play the next week and trying to keep the season going. When you look at Marshall offensively, uh, what concerns you, knowing what they can do? Um, I mean, they got a lot of talent on offense, obviously. You see the points they put up. But um, they got a lot of speed on offense. Watching film, I mean, that's one of the first things I noticed, just speed running down the field every play, you know, with their receivers. They got a good running back. Quarterback's young. He's real good, obviously. So, I mean, yeah, we know we got a challenge for us this week, and um, we're going to be ready for it. You mentioned their quarterback is young but, but pretty good. He's just going to make his career start. Uh, as a defender and as that defensive unit, how do you go about trying to confuse younger players who maybe haven't been in these big-time game situations like some of the many players on your team has been in over the years? Yeah, you know, you try to just show them different looks than they've seen in the past, you know, just kind of show them this disguises somewhat, you know, and just just really keep things mixed up throughout the game. You know, don't let him get comfortable. Just keep his mind racing, you know. Um, but, yeah, he's a great player. We know there's going to be plays to be made, and um, we're just going to have to be ready for it. Hey, Grayson, now you're getting, uh, you're getting all these guys back now. Mm -hmm. And then you got this big win, you know, to get in the championship game. What's the confidence level like now that you're going to be back to full strength? I think our confidence is real high right now. I mean, we came in for the team meeting yesterday, and everyone that was out, you know, or almost everybody was back yesterday. So I was like, dang, I mean, they're already back, you know. So I think our confidence really got boosted up over the weekend. We knew our backs were against the wall, and we pulled through, got the win. And so you could tell through the videos, I mean, we were pumped up, excited. So I think, you know, we're ready for this week. Our confidence is there, and we just got to lock in and stay ready.
This season, uh, talking about distractions, obviously you guys getting games canceled. And another thing that's came up, and I mean, I'm sure anyone that has social media saw your coach being thrown around for the Auburn job. What does that just mean about how good of a job he's done? And for a player to see that, it's like, you know, this coach is one of the top ones in the country. Yeah, we kind of went through a little bit of that last year, too, honestly. When um, I remember when we were playing FAU and then Kiffin was – getting a different job and then they were talking about coach Clark too and like a bunch of the players I mean last year we were talking like confused you know I didn't know what was going to happen but I mean yeah it's good knowing that that's our coach you know like that's who we play for I mean he's always in the talk for these bigger jobs you know but I mean we trust him we know the job he does that it's gonna get some recognition you know from those bigger schools but I mean, that just shows what he's built here and everything we've done here. So, I mean, it really just makes the whole program look good and obviously what he's done for us. So, yeah, we know, we're know we happy that's our coach getting talked about. You were down a few safeties uh, this past week. So, it was kind of you and uh, Damon uh, out there. Uh, you know, what can you tell me about some of the young guys that stepped up for you uh, during this past week? Oh, yeah. I mean, it spoke a lot about our young guys, you know, with Bowler and then Key being out. Um, it made me have to step up, honestly. I know I'm not really a young guy anymore, but, I mean, I haven't played in, since earlier in the season, you know, and then they got out, so I knew I was going to have to come back and step up. And so it just – we really knew as, as a defensive back room that it was going to be on us this game, you know, with a lot of our experience out. And um, our younger guys did great all week in practice. And um, you could tell Saturday um, – we were out there. We were ready to go. So our young guys did great, and we were ready to go. So. Grayson, can you describe what that locker room was like after the game? Oh, it was electric. I mean, we got in there, and then everybody screaming, dancing, you know. I mean, because we knew our backs were against the wall. A lot of rice just came off the big win, you know. We had all our guys out. So we knew it was just all us. It was us against everybody, you know. So. It was a great feeling after the win, especially how it ended and everything coming down to the wire. And I mean, we definitely enjoyed it after the game, but I mean, that's over with now. We're ready for the next one. Anything else for Grayson? All right. Appreciate it, man. Good luck, Grayson. Thanks.